Oh, on us a dragon. Uh. Hey there, our meeting like this must be Providence Meow. We're in a hurry. Save it, cats. All the better, Meow. I've just stumbled upon a perfectly nifty piece of stone just for you. What's it for? <gasps> That's not a geoboard, is it? Bingo! Fast travel? Have some ruins, Meow. They were made by Norman Meowney years ago for surfing along Earth pulses, but I can't use it, so I figured I'd pawn it off on someone else who could, Meow. Wait, Norman made this? That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Don't be so mean! We're capable of exceptional things! Uh, sometimes. When a Norman speaks their own name, the board springs to life! And whisks its masters away at top speed! They'll even plow right through weak demons! You can say it's our masterwork, even if we sort of stumbled on it by accident. Huh. Well, then I apologize. So we can ride this as long as we have Bianfu with us, right? Well, kind of. Do you have to use your true name to activate it? Not my true name, no. My Norman name. Wouldn't that just be Bianfu? No. Norman have a separate name that goes something like Norman so-and-so. It's almost more a title than a name. Often the name has something to do with what they're good at. Something like... Attack, or Chain, or Aqua. Right. You could say names like Bienfu and Grimoire are more like stage names. I actually don't know Bienfu's Norman name, but I can't wait to find out. What is your name, Bienfu? Uh... Come on out with it. We're in a hurry. Norman Brave. Whoa, look at that! Wait, Bienfu. <laughs> Your Norman name is Brave? <laughs> that is so deliciously absurd! Why do you think I've never told you before, Bien? <laughs> At least the board works, Meow. And if we get on this board, it'll move us around? Well, about that. The board propels itself by pushing against Earth Pulse flows. To do that, the board needs information on the flows, but this one here's a completely blank slate, Meow. First, you need to find the geo trees in each area. They serve as a conduit between the surface land and the earth pulses, Meow. Once you've actually located a geo tree, you can record that area's earth pulse data into your geo board, Meow. Couldn't put Got the it. ones I've already been to in it? Come on. This area's geo tree is right over there, Meow. All right then. So long as we find more geo trees. We'll be able to use the geoboard to travel much more quickly. Couldn't just, you know, preload it with, hey, this one's already seen this spot and this spot because you've already been there. So convenient. You don't have to give me the whole world, just give me the places I've already been to. Now make it a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, is this going to be the... Well, that's going to come in handy. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun to ride, too. I could get used to this. <sighs> I'm so worn out. I feel like I had to sprint the whole way here. Huh. <laughs> It seems like operating the board saps a lot of energy from Bienfu. Even still, this board gives us a strategic advantage. Brave here will just have to bear a little exertion now and then. Yeah, Brave. Buck up. I believe in you. Be brave. Ah! Stop calling me that!
guess I found the way to get across all them little things I couldn't get across before. Why is it gotta be held down? Why can't it be a toggle? I thought just said it'll skip over weak enemies. that much faster. I don't think we Didn't even see it. That shit should definitely be a toggle and not be held. It is a pain in the ass. It's already hurting my finger. Oh, he's just gonna use it at spots where I need to jump across something. Thought it was gonna be a fast travel, not a a slightly slightly faster travel. It's like a light jog travel. I refuse to fall here. that fast. I'm really not feeling that it's that much faster. Twenty-five is less than eight. If no. Fuck 
hair. Oh, what are you talking about? Let me see. I am. Refresh your shit. And check another one and see if you can do that, and you'll know if the problem's you or me, but I'm pretty sure it's on your end, buddy. See, I told you. Whew, I thought we were done for. Handling sucks. End up in more fights using this thing. Climb. Why will you not climb? I don't think it's here. It looks so deadly. And just dragon. check out how much malevolence it's putting out. It's a dragon. Which means it's not a Therian. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. Oh, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, no turning back now. I mean, we could literally just turn around and walk away. Crash, damn it, this wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, but training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One Get wrong move and you're done for. I know, that's the fun part. Gaze upon my I thought that red line was his uh, attack bubble for a second. Uh-oh. No, it was me being stuck against the wall while he killed me. I killed, but hurt. Dragon winged. Fire and physical.
This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? I'll do whatever it takes. That's my way. Zavid! <laughs> I see you're out for blood, as usual. You knew, didn't you, Aizen? What, that it's as girly? I assume it's as girly? Out of my way. What? Are you protecting the dragon? She's not a dragon! Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. By shooting myself in the head. <laughs> Hey, that wasn't predictable. No <sighs> that hurts, babe. And here we hadn't seen each other in so long. You guys got a thing for chasing down dragons. Hold it. Is that dragon someone you knew? Mm -hmm. I told you, she's not a dragon. Like when the words on the screen and the words being said don't match up. So, it seems old check out my pecs and the dragon have some kind of close ties. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said. But how could that be? When Malakim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. So you're saying that dragon was a Moloch Zavid once now? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. But do Malakim put out malevolence like humans do? No, not by themselves they don't. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. What about you, kiddo? It's always females, you feel anything right? weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. Or By stripping their Molochim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcist seemed to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Can a dragon ever be changed back into a Moloch? Nope. Just like with demons, there's no going back. Do they still hold on to some part of who they were? You saw that dragon. What do you think? Well, that's... But Zavid still won't kill it. Must be his creed at work. Aizen, listen. Whatever business you and Zavid have with that dragon, I don't care. Do what you have to. But I won't tolerate you getting the rest of us involved in it again. Do I make myself clear? You've got it. Good. Now, let's get back to the Therian hunt. We'll regroup in Titania.
If what Aizen said is true, then could I wind up as a dragon someday? If you try really hard, or kiddo. Or Aizen too. I don't know. Nah, Aizen will never be a dragon. That's silly. Aizen's too strong-willed. He'd never become a dragon. Little pussy like you, kid? Yeah, he'll probably be one. A real shitty dragon. Yes, that's the joke. I've played Vesteria. Go check out the two paths that it didn't lead me down. Wonder if they're optional dungeons or what. Hoverboard. Let me build it, McFly. Bad porn name. I'm trying to spray those kittens again, that asshole. One of you, I won't fight both. You look alive too. Nope. Ah. I don't think we have a chance. This fight is over. First saw that red thing I was considering saying that oh, can't get through yet turn around
Watch as soon as I go back, he tries to send me here. Once I go start the main story again. So we're getting sidetracked. There's a reason to be here. Fruit, but I don't have the hoverboard thing yet. Seventy-five. That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. I did not hit that, but, you know, I would've. Certainly didn't hit it before I even knew where the enemy was gonna be, so I didn't want to fizzle. But sure, now I am hitting the Mystic Art button, but you wouldn't care about that, would you? Me hitting the button. Huh, you gonna go? You gonna you gonna go now? You gonna go now? Fifteen, lower than eight. I can't think of any game that's had that phantom input thing. Ridiculous. It's not working when you say to, yeah, that's one thing, but the random things happening all the time, crazy. How did they not notice that in testing? Trigger thing, I mean, that happened in the last game too with fairly sure it's the same engine. I mean, they look exactly alike. You're not hurt, are you? No. That they should have fucking figured out before this game came out. Fucker. I somehow got it in my head that the plants right by loot are not the type that fight back. Come on. Use the... That. Use that. Would have been cool if you did it, you know, when I had more combo going, but it doesn't seem to matter what your fucking combo's at. It'll just arbitrarily choose which one to use regardless. Fuckhead. 
That was tough. I think. Point of this dungeon to unlock that fucking thing. We will Fucker. need to be extremely wary. No mercy! Wounds I won't shield! Cards in the flesh! Lethal pain! Crash through! Sword and drag down! I will you not. Back with that exact sound. Come on. If I hear the ding, I'm hitting the button. Gonna, oh, you hear the ding, I should be theronizing. I hit this game, not three fucking presses later. You hitting that button is my Pavlovian response to hearing the game. Usually even do it if I'm already theronized. Including right there, I did it, but it didn't activate. Whatever. I refuse. What are you doing, making so much noise down there? Go downstairs and kick his ass. Oh, I just ate a fucking yellow fruit. Did I not? Son of a bitch. Probably got into a fight right next to it and forgot about actually eating the fruit, or hit it and accidentally did cancel. I intended to eat the yellow fruit. Probably fine. did, but okay. I was itching myself while I was running funny. Also up with my back. It's just been itchy all day. I woke up itchy. With a big red thing on my neck that looks like a bite or some kind. Not a good day. And it's also near my birthday, which 
I had three days to my birthday. It's the 16th, right? 19th is my birthday, and I fucking hate the time around my birthday. It just makes me resentful of everything. Not a fan of the major holidays either, but yeah, especially the birthday. Go so marginally faster. Something. The thing I do like about it is it propels you forward, so you don't have to necessarily use the joystick. doesn't feel fast enough. Propel you across? Those bottles do work, you just have to hit a fucking button for them. Son of a bitch. What's the point of this if I can't propel across with it? Alright, time to consult Google to make sure it's a feature that's later unlocked or something. The Geoboard, how do I jump gaps with it? Okay, gotta run into it. Stupid, but okay. There you go. I was primed to be pissed. I'm always primed to be pissed. Been a happy person in a long time. It's been years of just misery. Shit good happened to me in. I don't know. About the last time something really good happened to me that I can think of? Maybe 
got going for me is a pretty kick-ass cat. She's awesome. The uh, end of list. Other color. Fucker. Are we ready for this? No mercy! Wounds that won't heal. Cards in the flesh. Make them pay! in here. We will need to what? be extremely rare. I saw absolutely nothing on the screen. Thank 
be a super rare item that you can't get anywhere else. Or else, fuck this. Regardless, fuck this. Walker won't stop smoking inside the house. Just, I'd break his cigarettes, but he'd just buy more. Fuck it. Let him smoke himself to death, and I get the house. Feel the love. I don't think we have a chance! Feel pillar 3. Person down already. Don't die so easily. I can't die here. As I die easily. Can't swap when you're dead. Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Wrong game for that. because I didn't even see anything happen. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. What? The fuck? Disgraceful. Disgraceful. 
with the random shit in this game. <laughs> and kills you. It's bullshit. people falling but they're not dropping any souls. Don't use that one. Eyes are burning from this fucking menthol coming through the fucking vent. What the fuck are you doing here? Okay, just stand there when I'm telling you to move. That's fine. Kill us. Get that. Quit running away. Fine, fine. I'll join your little combat crew. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem! Got you! Got you! 
Are you already on the floor? Fight just started. Like better weapon changes the look of that mystic art. I knew, but sure, why not? Whatever. I can't die here. Even is a block. What the fuck? I was. Oh, when I came out of the item menu, it probably killed my block for no apparent reason. Someone finally dropped the soul. I don't believe this. Why did it jump while it was standing there blocking? It makes no sense the random shit that happens. This is where you kill me and get rid of my Mr. Guard. Bound to happen quite soon. No, the block button doesn't work, the Theronize button doesn't work, would something fucking work? Aside from his one hit kills? Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem! Crushing the fuck? Why are you just standing there and taking it instead of blocking like I've been holding for pretty much the whole fight? For, I guess, huh? I can't. I, I can't do anything. Not letting me do anything, like at all. 
including not letting me get rid of the block I stopped holding. What the fuck is going on? I just got stuck in the block and wouldn't let me do anything. No buttons were responding. I mean, the fight was already over, but they didn't have to tell me that way. You know, come and kill me. So it's not letting me miss his art now. It's got three hits now. It's still not letting me let him know. That's cute. But you let me use mine now. How about you let me use mine now? Put in mind using your Mystic Art, that'd be cool. You're gonna one-shot me at some point here. What the fuck? What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Randomly changed my character. And now I can't change back because she lost all her fucking shit when she died. Just. Just kill us off. Really? Am I doing better just standing here doing nothing? Like, I threw down the controller angrily. There you go. For killing people. Team is such fucking bullshit. Can't you guys be this proactive when I'm actually trying? Eleven is less than eight. Come on. It did not hit that. I am hitting the Mystic Car button though. Hit it like crazy. And now, oh, wow. They actually let me Theranize. I'm amazed. Just getting so used to it, not letting me do it. You want me to do it again? Wow. Sure, go ahead and do that to me while I'm stunned. Or while I'm blocking. Yes! Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel! Got you too close! Light here! Too close! Got you too close! First aid! Up here! Make a sign of Quick back! Devour! Too close! Ascending! Red Flash them! Got you too close! Flash them! Got you. 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 Got you.
Like that save. is enraging. Oh, and I Three took one of my souls I away, too. Pick it up. What is that? No, I oh, can't. Alright, blocking doesn't matter when you have no life. Fucker's almost dead, too. I had to start bullshitting me at the end, of course. Die here. Well, I was blocking! Are you ready? Switch to him specifically so he could run around and block when needing. Ugh. Getting so fucking fed up with this game right now. For this? I figured I'd start spamming the Mystic Garden by the time I had an 8 combo would actually register, and it actually goes on the first hit when I kind of didn't really want it to. It's more just, you know, preparing. Why are you not Theranizing? There you go. So when I say Theranize, it's because you need to in that moment or shit's gonna get bad. That's why I hit it. So when you don't accept my input, things go bad. Similar with the mystic art that you aren't letting me do. Let oh, I'm gonna die. Won't let me use my mystic art! And now of course I can't use it because I lost it. And he killed me arbitrarily. Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! You don't know how to make actual difficult content. It's all one shot and bad inputs. Or telegraphs. Fun galore. Everything in the game is fucking fun. No. I can't die here. Three, you can and will again and again. There before it tries to swap me out. Trying to swap out a lot of sudden instead. Don't let! Don't let! Don't Jump back sometimes when I'm not moving. Ivan! 
Huh. Holy oh, shit, it went off in one. Plates of wind slice them. Focus on me. Those bottles I've been bitching about have been able to use the whole time. I just didn't know how. I don't know if I'm more annoyed that it didn't really explain it or that... And it probably did explain it and I probably went right past it because the menus, you know, pop up at times where you're trying to skip shit. Maybe I just half-ass read it and didn't pick up on it. Probably my fault, that one. Pretty sure there is a thing you have to skateboard over up here. Let's check that out while I'm here.
I recall there's a spot I couldn't get to, right? Probably that island right there, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up in my head. Or maybe I'm thinking of the... the fog dens or whatever the fuck they're called. That place definitely has one. At the map, I don't see anything that looks like a jump across. I'm gonna take for granted that uh, I don't need to do it and leave because I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like searching the area for something that might not even be there. Let's get back on with the fucking quest. Finally, unlock some shit and lets me go where I want to go. extended battle where there's enough time for more and more bullshit to happen. That's what it is. The longer the fight, the more there's bullshit. It's not that the hard fights have more bullshit. It's just that, you know, you have more time for it to occur. Anytime I do one of those, it just makes me want to throw this game away. Not that... I have a physical copy or anything. Uninstall. That's the new angry throw a CD against the wall. Which, by the way, throwing a CD against the wall and watching it shatter, very satisfying. Okay, so those things don't appear on the map, because I looked over here on the map. I used to do it with the, every time I got an AOL CD in the mail, just chuck that shit right at the wall. That's not a thing anymore though, getting CDs in the mail. Well, I'm sure Columbia House still exists, right? But not, you know, people sending you CDs for their software randomly like, hey! Uh oh. Titles, titles. Keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Eisen. I's got a letter for you. A letter? Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. What did you do, Eisen? No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? If I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine. But uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. If you collect a set of four, you'd find happiness. Or oh, so they said. Nowadays, there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Even worse, nobody hardly knows nothing about them. Dolls of the Empyreans? Do you think they're like that one we saw of Aminoch in that shop in Isolt? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How do you know what we saw? It? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> That's perfect! I... think I get it. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Eisen. Think they'll help keep the Reaper away? <laughs> Probably claptrap. not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Her? Hey, that letter Eisen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? 
<laughs> Our little Luffy set is growing up. N no, I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Mogilu! Hmm. So that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. I saw cats. Benwick and the other crew members get into a serious fight over whether cats or dogs were better. I don't get what the cats, big deal no is. Contest. I can't believe you could say such a thing! No conflict is more perilous than the one that has dogged mankind since the dawn of civilization! In the shadow of every war are the battles of dog lovers and cat lovers. Between each side lies a divide, maybe not all that deep, but unbridgeable all the same. I'd say we're lucky that the squabble you saw didn't escalate into anything more serious. I had no idea it was such a big deal. So what side do all of you fall on? I am, without a doubt, a cat person. Cats and witches have a long history together. Personally, I prefer dogs because they can cohabit with humans while following rules. But I like cats too, because they're cute. What about you, Rokuro? Shigure liked cats, so I don't. But I like dogs even less. Always wagging their tails for their masters. <laughs> I feel the same way. Dogs will trade anything for food. Learning tricks, wagging their tails, getting friendly. And in time, even forgetting to howl. I think that's too cynical. Dogs make efforts to please humans so that we can live together. They're friendly and compassionate creatures. Then does that make you a cat person, Aizen? Actually, I like squirrels best. When I lived with my sister, the nearby forest had lots of nice, fluffy squirrels that would let me pet them. This isn't about squirrels. It's about cats and dogs. You have to pick a side. If I had to choose, yeah, it'd be cats. There's something lovable about the way they act, especially when you spoil them. It reminds me a lot of my sister. What about you, Velvet? Cats or dogs? Dogs. They don't betray you. You always have to be so serious, don't they you? Do. So Velvet and Eleanor like dogs, while Mogilu and Aizen prefer cats. And Rokuro doesn't care for either one. That makes you our tiebreaker, kiddo. The fate of this showdown is in your hands. It is? Now that you're no longer the Abbey's dog, perhaps you're thinking of being one for Velvet's column? What has that got to do with anything? We're just talking about which animal we like. If you're getting so angry over this, he's going to have no choice but to pick dogs. I just told you- No more fighting! This is clearly getting out of hand, so why don't you all agree that you're Bienfu people and make up already? And what makes you special enough to have Bienfu people? Because I can be loyal like a dog, but also do my own thing like a cat. If you pick me, everybody wins. I don't think it works that way. Think of dogs like Christians, blindly loyal when they shouldn't be. Beat a dog, it'll come back to you. Beat a cat, it runs away. You let a dog out, it'll run away because it's stupid and doesn't know how to find its way home. If a cat's gone, a cat wants to be gone. Or, you know, something horrific happened. The dog's gone, it didn't necessarily want to be gone. It's just dumb. I don't have the same homing instincts, apparently. A lot got lost between wolf and dog. I think wolves are cool as shit. I like... I like big, mean dogs. Dog that wants to lick me? Get the fuck away from me. Anything that wants to yip-yip around? Nah, not a fan. I like select dogs, but I like pretty much all cats.
big cats too. Big cats I like more than wolves, although I do like wolves a lot. But yeah. even a mountain lion, you know, they're not that big. Mountain lion will fuck you up. I mean, what was it? Uh, Seattle, I think it was, where the dude, one dude got mangled, the other got killed. Yeah. Can't go anywhere right now. Really restricting my world, man. I guess a dragon was a bit much to take on, even for the Reaper. You should get some rest. We all should. I'll just get the crew started on readying the ship for our next departure. All right, you go do that. Lafayette. You should get some rest, too. I'm fine. It's more important that I focus on finding an actual Therian this time. I'm going to take another try at sensing the Earth Pulse points. <sighs> <sighs> You're as stubborn as ever, Fee. Fails a third time, I'm gonna kill him in his sleep. <laughs> Base that isn't really much of a base. Oh, great. Is exhausting. I need a couple hours of playing this game and it just makes me feel exhausted. Hey, Kurigane, let me ask you something. More complaining, is it? Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe. But I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. I don't have a face. Oh, right. Sorry. The slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny, but doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. It's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. They can be a hassle, but at least it's a new hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, so I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have a face. That's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people, who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, 
Then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. Ah, it does grow back then. Important questions. I guess they bothered to animate someone besides the main cast. Probably just for that one cutscene. Maybe something at the end. Don't push yourself too hard now, Laffy said. You hear me? I hear you. I just... I told everyone I could find the Therians, but... I've only sent us to the wrong places. Aizen, is there any way to boost a Moloch's powers? That gun. I guess it's okay for me to tell you this. The majority of Malachim today have their consciousnesses sealed away to be used as mere tools for the exorcists. But originally, Malachim were beings who received prayers from people, and in return bestowed their blessings upon nature and mankind. So you're saying that when humans pray to a Moloch, the Moloch receives great strength? Yes. In general, at least. Some Malachim, like me, buck the system and bring about misfortune rather than divine grace. Oh, that's unfortunate. But who would ever pray to me? Maybe you didn't lead us to any Therians, Faye, but it's not like we came back empty-handed. We found Ori Kalkum to use against Shigure, and we also learned we can hold our own against a dragon. Velvet. So where should we go next, Fee? Northgand! There's a big Earth Pulse point north of Helavis! Works for me. Aizen? We can leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm all set. Let's make our way to the harbor. When I say prayers, I don't mean outright worshipping. All I'm talking about are earnest thoughts and feelings directed at you. I see. So I'm already receiving prayers then. Mind a game about, uh... Being a god and fighting other gods for the people's affection. That one anime that I can't think of the name of. How Malakim seemed to work in this. Be a pretty cool concept for a game. Earn it through doing stuff for people, or earn it through fear. Different type of god, depending on what type of people you want to worship you. Spitballing. Has to be a cutscene on the way out. Won't let me do that. Our next target is north of Helavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. 
Let's hope. Then we should make our first stop, Port Helavis. With the, uh, mischief we got into last time, getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Helavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. It's a plan. Roger. I'll get right on it. Good to hear cheeky bastards in a not British accent. Hey, Eleanor. Abbey exorcists don't pray to their tethered Malachim, do they? You mean something besides our oaths? An oath is a magical formula that grants you power in exchange for binding you to a rule, right? Yes, though that is simplifying it a bit. When Malachim receive human prayers, they bestow their blessings upon people in nature. Aizen told me that we Malachim grow stronger when humans pray to us. Prayers and blessings? I've never heard of that. I used to think the same way as the other exorcists. Malachim are merely tools that allow us the use of arts. Yeah, that's what I figured. But he know me not is different. The exorcists all worship him. They have faith in his mighty power. And not only that, the people of this nation pray to the Empyrean for salvation, just as Artorius instructs them. Ah, I get it now. See the wheels turning, do you, kiddo? Huh? Artorius oh, founded the Abbey within the existing Church of the Empyreans, so that he could direct the people's thoughts towards Inominat, so that even while they lionize Artorius as their savior, they are made aware of Inominat's presence behind him. Everyone starts believing in Inominat. The prayers of the entire world go to him, becoming his power. After the centuries-long decline of Empyrean worship, he becomes stronger than anyone today could imagine. The pieces do fit. Oaths, prayers, blessings, the demon blight. So much in this world is affected by matters of the heart. They hold magical power, both effective and meddlesome. We are truly going up against the rest of the entire world, aren't we? Don't look so troubled, Eleanor. I'm gonna do my best to get stronger. So believe in me. I am a Moloch, after all. Oh, Luffy said. You've become so brave so quickly. Have I? But you're still cute when you get embarrassed. Hey, why is your face so red? Huh? My face isn't red. Hmm? Hmm. Hey, Aizen. What's it feel like to get a letter? What kind of question is that? Anything, nor do I want or need to. There's no joy in receiving these things. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Don't be so shocked. Look, it's just an invoice from the Turtles. What's the big deal anyway? Do you wish you'd get letters too? Yeah. But I don't have anyone to send letters to. Let alone anyone who would send me any. Luffy said, I've got a letter for you. What? Really? Who could it be from? The sender is... Bienfu? Yep, yep! You got a letter from yours truly! I figured you'd be wanting someone to send you a letter right about now, so I wrote one up for you. What do you think? You're happy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. What about his Thanks, butt buddy with the Omega Elixir? You could send a mail to that kid. Him. Dear Moloch Luffy Set, I hope that this letter finds you in good health and high spirits. Thankfully, I'm doing well myself, with no major changes to report. Bienfu's taking all this so seriously. It's so rare to actually see him like this. As you're aware, I've been spending my days ironing Magilu's outfits, sewing her buttons, and washing her hat and tremendously long socks. Recently, however, I made the mistake of remarking to her that she might not have been quite as slender as she once was in her younger years. She hung me upside down from the roof in the middle of the cold! I nearly became a frozen Norman Sickle! It was so horrible that I couldn't stop my tears from flowing down my little cheeks! 
Bien! Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the Bienfu we know and love. But all you wrote about in that letter was that yourself. Thing. And you even read it out loud yourself. That's okay. Thanks, Bienfu. It feels nice to get a letter. That's so kind of you to say. I think I might cry again. Bien! We've loaded everything bound for Hella V's. With that much freight, I doubt anyone will suspect us. Any idea who can give us cover for docking? Not anyone in particular, but recently the power and influence of the Hella V's Fisherman's Guild has caught my eye. The Fisherman's Guild, huh? Let's bring them some extra relief supplies. Fuel, drink, and as for the drink... Twelve-year-old Amber Draft. The sailors of Hella V's have an eye for the stuff. You heard that from Dial, I take it. He's got a sharp eye. He took a bottle in payments, but I say we turn a blind eye to it. We thought we were the best at this kind of thing, but having him around has been a real eye-opener. Okay, but tell him if he takes a second, he'll pay for it. Eye for an eye. Aye, aye. I'll keep an eye on him so that he doesn't sneak off with another bottle. Eight here in aye, aye. See Coast Guard flashbacks. The supplies are loaded. We can make for hella V's whenever you want. That was fast. If we weren't hard workers, we wouldn't be sailors. What? <laughs> oh. No! You don't get to talk. Oh, what's wrong, Kamalana? She, uh, she said she had a dream about her mom. Mom's dead. When mommy saw me... <laughs> Skipping all of their dialogue for the rest of the game. That, sweetheart. Sorry if you really want to hear their dialogue. I but, cannot stand that voice. Well, uh, how do I put it? I know because I know. Mom's dead and you ate her. Shut up. You're just... <laughs> Aw, come on, Don't cry. I... Already subjecting myself to begin Fu and Lapa said I'm not subjecting Ugh, myself to that thing. About little kids. Throw her overboard. That's right, let it all out. Stop it. You add nothing to the story. I wish you were dead. She managed to cry herself to sleep. They're not rational creatures. Sometimes you just gotta let them cry it out. You seem used to it. I guess you could say that. Luffy usually kept himself together when he was younger. But when he was really little, he had times like this every now and then. Uh. And on that note, let's take off all we can. My liege. Dial. I leave Kamalana in your care. I'll do what I can, but kids as sweet and honest as her are harder to deal with than corrupt bureaucrats. An outlaw prince and a talking lizard are no replacement for a mother. And she shouldn't have killed her own mother. Looks like it's not giving me a choice of where to go. Back on rails. I do hope Kamalana isn't crying anymore. I could give a shit. As long as yeah. it's not on screen. Shush. How long is it going to be before you send in another exorcist to replace Lady Teresa? With these demons clamoring at her gates, none of us feel safe anymore. You have our deepest sympathies, but we were sent here on a different mission. That's what the last exorcist who came here said before leaving for the north. What could be up there that's worth all that attention? Surely we're not all being punished by the Abbey for what happened with Medissa, are we? That is not the case. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business to attend to. Sir. 
So the exorcists are just passing through town and heading straight north. Odd. Can't go fucking down there to kill the Kraken. Fuck you. That's what I get for not killing it when I had the chance. <sighs> Ever since the Calamity showed up, everything's just gone to pot, I say. Calamity? What do you mean? I mean the demon who barged in and made a mess of our fair city. She's a nasty creature of pure evil, with an arm that eats anything that gets in her way. Haven't you heard of her? The Calamity's been rampaging across the whole kingdom, not just here. Scant few have seen her and survived. Huh. You don't say. After the Calamity raised our ships and our port, the shipping guild fell apart and our trade routes got poached by other ports. It's bad. The town relies on trade to make ends meet. People are abandoning the city and our streets are no longer safe. Not to mention the demon blight spreading again. Just the other day, a little kid turned into a demon. Just like that. What a world. What a world. What have the exorcists been doing during all of this? Well, Lady Teresa was in charge of this region, but she came up short against the Calamity and got a fat demotion for her troubles. Several new exorcists have been reassigned here, but once they arrive, they all traipse right <coughs> off to the ruins up north. This has to be Medissa's fault. If she hadn't gone and done something so stupid... Medissa... That's enough. This isn't something for outsiders to know. You're right. Sorry. <sighs> I'm really worried about what's going to come of this town. Okay. It sounds like Helovis isn't what it used to be these days. We need to ask around and find out more about what's going on here. Agreed. Especially regarding the Abbey and those ruins. I'm also curious about this Medissa woman. The ruins part makes sense, since the Earth Pulse Point might be there. Why do you care who Medissa is? Just a hunch. Something tells me she's worth looking into. You're not gonna look into this calamity chick? She sounds like a real terror. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I already know plenty about what makes her tick. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. Surprising how I can do. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. Scout. Are you all right, Madam Eleanor? Don't let those people get you down. I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Uh, but could you not do that thing where you blow air on me to dry my tears? All right, I'll just pat your head then. That won't be necessary either. But really, things are in a terrible state. The town burned, the guild ruined, the abbey all but gone. It won't be a functioning port for some time. You can't fault them for being upset. They had it real good here until we came along. Those Helovisians were like spoiled children. How so? Helovis was once a tiny fishing village. The bountiful northern seas provided plenty enough fish to sustain their trade. But Flamestone gave them an easy way to get rich. And once they got a taste, they abandoned their old craft. And now they're paying the price. But I've heard that the cooling temperature has covered half the northern sea in ice drift, making fishing much more difficult. Uh, but the drifting ice carries tiny organisms, enriching the waters where it melts. The fish should be more plentiful than ever. I suppose you may have a point. We're ones to talk after what we did, but taking the easy path, then complaining as soon as it gets hard, that seems... Spoiled, yes. <laughs> you said it, Luffy said. I think my appetite's getting a little overindulgent, too. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Just means you're healthy. Eat like Giant in a row. come to these waters in this season. Should I ask Benwick to fish some up? Yeah, 
And some normal octopuses, too. <laughs> this calamity is... us, isn't it? Well, we've been waging war with the Abbey everywhere we go, and now we're about to take it to a new level. If we pull the next Therian off of the Earth Pulse point, it'll likely be Kamoana's village all over again. The same devastation? Ooh! I wonder if there's something worse than calamity that they can call us! This is no laughing matter. People turn into demons in part due to their own malevolence. It's not like they're entirely innocent. But if there's someone out there who's being forced to act as Inominat's mouth, like Kamawana was, isn't saving them the right thing to do? I cannot argue with that, but... You don't have to worry. I'm the one who will devour the barrier. And I'm the one who will do what needs to be done. The demon attacks have ground trade to a halt. But people are slowly starting to fish again. Are you a fisherman too? Aye. This town got swept up in the recent trade boom. But back when I was a young lad, this was a fishing port through and through. Ever since the shipping guild took over the docks, all of us fishermen got muscled out. Making this a commercial port has helped the town grow. But a lot of people weren't so happy with the guild. It's too bad everyone couldn't just work <sighs> together. Once money gets involved, people change. That's true no matter what age you live in. The people know it's the ones making the money who lead the charge. But we follow anyway. It's human nature. I hope everyone changes their minds once we start rebuilding. But who knows what will happen. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sorry, I'm busy. Try someone else. <sighs> Excuse me. My name is Eleanor, and I'm an exorcist on patrol with the Abbey. I was wondering if I could solicit your honest opinion about how this town is being run. Oh, I didn't realize there was an exorcist with you. Yes, please tell the Abbey we want Lady Teresa back. Her governance was strict, it's true, but at least we could live in safety. Now, all the exorcists run off to the Faldi's ruins and leave us here in the lurch. They value some dusty, faraway ruins over the lives of the good, hardworking citizens here. It's just wrong. We've always been cooperative with the Abbey's demands. And now this is what we get in return. I... I see. The Abbey appreciates your, uh, candor. I'll pass your comments on to my superiors. First it was the sailors, and then even a small girl caught the demon blight. I was sure it was going to start spreading through this town as well, but then after that incident it just went poof and disappeared. I guess I was expecting a little more after hearing how contagious it was. I wonder what really causes it. Who knows? I heard of this one village in East Kand where everyone caught it at once. It wiped out the entire town. <laughs> I hope the Abbey develops a cure quickly. I can't wait for the day where we can live without fear. People who know what happens... Tell people. Poor, poor Medissa. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah, she used to live just down the road from me. Medissa raised her daughter Diana all on her own. And then they up and murdered the girl. Murdered? By whom? The exorcists. Once Diana caught the demon blight, the damned Abbey exterminated her like a rat. How cruel. I felt just terrible, but I suppose there wasn't much else to be done with her. But Medissa, she hated the Abbey for what they'd done, so she barricaded herself inside the sanctuary. She just kept on screaming, all like, demons have feelings too. What happened after that? I wouldn't have been surprised to see her executed. But luckily, she was spared that much. An exorcist stopped the guard who was about to cut her down, said, Don't kill her, she's receptive. 
Receptive, huh? I think that's their way of referring to her deep faith. Before all this, she was a real devout lady. That was Isn't certainly there kind of them. There? Medissa really cherished her daughter. Can't much blame her for blowing up like that. Thank great, but she's gonna really, act like a fucking surrogate to that annoying so thing I got. Feelings. Reason is all that matters to them. They don't take kindly to people disrupting their order. <sighs> I already see it happening. Up there to get it? That's annoying. If you go north from Hellebees, you'll come upon the Faldi's ruins, which are Abbey property. Mainly, it's used as a checkpoint for hauling ore that's extracted out of Mount Killeraus. But between you and me, I hear the Abbey also uses it as a prison camp. A prison camp? Are they capturing demons? Heavens no! The demons they kill on sight. No, these prisoners are human criminals. Not long ago, this woman killed someone and locked herself up in the sanctuary. I hear she got hauled off to the camp. Why do you think the Abbey would use the ruins for a prison camp? Who knows? Maybe they need a place to deal out their harshest punishments. The Abbey's not known to be forgiving after all. <laughs> uh, but these are just nasty rumors I heard. Of course, I don't believe a word of it. I can't believe the demon blight has spread into the city now. I can't believe it's Scary not times. butter. Well, the one who caught it was a little girl, so they were able to deal with her before anything bad happened. But the problem was that the demon girl's mother tried to hide her. That's only human nature. These are dangerous times. We dare not let our emotions control us. One person's selfishness could endanger the entire community. Oh, uh, right. Thankfully, an upstanding citizen noticed something suspicious and reported the child to the Abbey. But the mother went mad and killed him in retribution. And what makes it all the more lurid is, I heard the man she killed was a fellow she was actually thinking about marrying. The daughter had been dead set against her mother remarrying. You can taste the irony. That's... that's horrible. Eh, she had it coming. If there's anything worse than demons, it's people who can't control themselves. So, Diana was a girl turned demon who was killed by an exorcist. And her mother Medissa hated the Abbey for it. And the Abbey is using the Faldi's ruins up north as a prison camp. It's a lot like what happened to Kamawana, isn't it? It's natural for a mother to love her own child. To make that a crime. What I'm curious about is the use of the word receptive to describe Medissa. So long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. If our interpretation of that ancient book is right, it likely means she's receptive to Inominat's power. Meaning they brought Medissa to those ruins where there's an Earth Pulse point, and then they made her into a Therian. That would certainly put all the pieces together, yep. <laughs> Plus, if this theory in the Abbey created already hates them, that's all the better for us. Yeah, I imagine she'd be willing to work with us. Although, it sounds almost too easy. Did I jinx it? I just jinxed it, didn't I? Probably, but we won't find out until we try. True. Let's head for the ruins. And don't worry, you totally jinxed it.
It's a book titled Words and Deeds of the Hero King. The king declared, My people, you must always live with great vigor and hold hope for the world and for our future. Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it. Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. My people, you must live without hesitation. Hold hope in your hearts. Hold hope for tomorrow. Transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. Lord Artorius, I have successfully translated all of the documents left by your predecessor. However, I have concluded that, for the time being, it is impossible to form packs with all four Empyreans. As I feared, not even my predecessor could achieve more than two. I suppose using the fifth Empyrean is my only option. Is that even acceptable? Doing so would require... I will do whatever needs to be done. I betrayed my teacher. I betrayed the mission he gave his life for, that he entrusted in my hands. For a time, I thought I could bear the weight of my sins and go on living, with Selica by my side. But now, she's gone. Yes. Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it. Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. I must bring about the ideal world. I couldn't protect the people I loved. But this, at least, I will accomplish. Arthur? Huh? What is it, Velvet? Were you just talking to someone? No. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. I, uh, finished making dinner. Tonight is prickle boar stew. Plenty of meat, but not too heavy. <laughs> Sounds great. Let's hurry on back home, then. I don't know exactly what all that means, but it kind of sounds nice. I suppose. Actually, it doesn't make much sense to me either. It's too dense for me. Now we have demons rampaging through our towns. Northgan's really had a string of bad luck. The weather's gotten even colder. Mercio's port is blocked by an ice drift. And hardly anyone sails the North Seas anymore. But relief supplies have made it up here, right? It may fill our bellies, but not our hearts. Huh? If the Abbey truly wants to save this town, there's something we need more than food or gold. Lady Teresa! <sighs> If only I could be pierced once more by those fierce, ice-cold eyes. Oh, punish me, Teresa, my love! Wow. Can we make it so that he doesn't get any more supplies? Uh, Lady Teresa, my life is for you. Wow. Hey! I was wondering if you'd let us put on a little comedy show. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Just try and keep it low-key. I don't want to attract the Abbey's attention. Ha! <laughs> That's a tall order. Wherever we go, the boy and I have him rolling in the aisles. The boy? Wait, you mean me? I sure do. I'll play the straight man, you play the funny one. Don't sweat it. Even if you mess up, you'll be adorable. The audience will just lap it up. Did you memorize the script I wrote you? Yeah, I think so. Great, I knew you could do it. But if you merely follow the script and adhere to its every word, you won't be very funny. You need to ad-lib in your own style. For you, that's buttering up the audience and winning them over. Ad-lib? I'm not sure I can do that. I have faith in you, kiddo. You're gonna discover a part of you that you never knew existed. Just focus on finding ways to charm our audience. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, then let's get this show rolling. Hi 
there. We're a boy and his witch. Your partners in comedy today. Magic Azam! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show. I'm Fee, the cute one, and this blustering witch is... Muggy Lou! Wait, who are you calling blustering? Meow! S sorry I just suddenly felt like doing an imitation. An imitation? Like, of a cat? Not just any cat, a nearby cat. Meow! Oof. You're losing them. Time to go on our charm offensive. Roll with it, kiddo. Every slip up is just a new opportunity in disguise. Uh, see? It's supposed to be a pun on how cats sound and how near is pronounced. I didn't actually hear a nearby cat meow like that or anything. He's explaining the joke? Are you going crazy, Luffy Set? What good does explaining a bad joke do? But you told me to ad lib to try and win our audience over, didn't you? I figured maybe if I explained it to them, they'd get the joke and find it funny. Just stop. Even if they get the joke that way, it's just going to be sad. I don't mind that. I'm not afraid of messing things up. I just want to make sure our audience feels valued. No, no, you have the right idea, but... I guess I should mention, Moggy Lou's the one who came up with the script. She just made me come and act it out. <laughs> I don't care if it made the audience happy, you just sold me out! I can't work with you like this! No way! <laughs> I'd say we got a lot of ad-libbing into our routine today. How was the show? I'll just say one thing. You need a better writer. It wasn't me. Yay, got the one thing. I think. The Faldi's ruins are north of Helavis. The Earth Pole's point is to the north, too. Probably in the very same place. Not even worth my Helavis is different now, isn't it? Maybe. But you've changed too. True. When I first met all of you, I never could have imagined I would go on such a journey. I could barely even think then. But then Velvet let me keep this compass. And Aizen and Rokuro taught me to be myself. They certainly did. And look at Dial. He's a regular part of the Von Eltia's crew now. Even Restless Bienfu and Grimoire are now part of our merry band. Yep! Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, and the Prince and his Hawk, and Koragane and Kamawana are with us. Listen, I've got more part in this tale than any of them. Hush. Whatever I'd say, you'd say it doesn't matter to you. At last, you begin to understand me. Magic Azam. Uh, I didn't think Northgand would be this cold. But I'm Northgand North was Teresa's territory. Wouldn't you have been here with her? I think having my awareness controlled meant my senses were dulled as well. I see. But the cold doesn't seem to be bothering Aizen at all. In fact, everyone else seems comfortable here. If you shiver at these temperatures, you'll never make it on the high seas. In my youth, I practiced the blade under the blazing sun and through raging blizzards. Besides, when I turned into a demon, extreme temperatures ceased to affect me. The same thing happened to me. I used to hate winter. So that's some good luck. But what of yourself? 
You seem to be handling it just fine. I'm freezing, actually. I don't know how you stand it. I loathe the cold more than anything. That's why I've armed myself with a secret weapon. I've stuck thin, yet powerful, cuckoo brand hand warmers all over myself! I even packed them in my shoes! Really? That sounds amazing! I'm willing to share, if you act like a dove. What? Go cuckoo, like a dove. Please share your cuckoo warmers with me. Cuckoo. Hmm, you're no velvet, that's for sure. <sighs> Save coin and it's break time. Yay.